the challenge of the Yukon. Duncan, on your husky! The Wonder Dog King, swiftest and strongest of Eskimo lead dogs, blazes the trail through storm and snow for Sergeant Preston as he meets the challenge of the Yukon. <laughs> Sergeant Preston was typical of the small band of Northwest Mounted Police who preserved law and order in the new Northwest country, where the greed for wealth and power led to frequent violence and bloodshed. But in spite of the odds against them, Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog King met that challenge, and justice ruled triumphant. Sergeant Preston stretched his feet toward the fireplace in Father McLean's cabin in Dawson. King, his big lead dog, lay down close beside him and watched the flickering flames through half-closed eyes. Father McLean eased his portly figure into the chair. Giving is no excuse for eating as much as I did today. <laughs> but that dinner was too much of a temptation. Well, it was a wonderful meal, Father. That cook of yours is a prize. I feel like I'd swallowed a whole deer. <laughs> it's a good thing Thanksgiving Day comes but once a year. You were awfully nice to let me share your dinner with your father. It's not often I get food like that. Yeah, the people in my church are very thoughtful of me on holidays. They bring food that one doesn't expect to get way up here in the North Country. You know, Father, two years ago, I had dinner with another priest on Thanksgiving. Nothing like this one, though. His congregation was very bitter about him at the time. Bitter? Had he done something wrong? Well, they thought so. It's rather a long story, Father. <laughs> well, uh, what could be better than a story sitting here before the fire after dinner? The priest was Father Haley. He left this part of the country before you arrived. He's the one who started the mission in Dawson. Oh, yes, I've heard of him. It was before they built the church that's there now. At the time, Father Haley was busy raising funds for it. He was a lovable old man, a big fellow with twinkling blue eyes and a good sense of humor. He was very fond of dogs, too, and King was a big favorite of his. I'd been on a patrol north and was coming back to Dawson. About ten miles from town, I was mushing along the trail, and suddenly I heard a dog. Oh, King! Hello, you huskies! Stay here, King. I'll see what's happening. Well, fellow, what's wrong? Oh... Oh, poor fellow, you stuck your foot right on my sled back to Dawson. He was a gentle dog, Father, part setter and part shepherd. We never found out who owned him. Father Haley's cabin was on the trail near the outskirts of town. It was evening when I reached it. Father Haley held the door open while I carried the dog in. Take him over there by the fire, Sergeant. Now I'll bring a lamp so we can have a look at him. Well, lie down here, fella. That's it. Well, you got that image off, didn't you? Yeah, now we can see. Well, he's licked it nice and clean, hasn't he? Yes, I guess he can take care of it better than we can. I'm afraid he's going to lose one or two toes, though. Well, I guess there's nothing more we can do for him except for him. It'll heal up all right, Father, if he stays off it a while. You're going to leave him here with me, aren't you? Why, that'll be fine if you want him. I have to leave town again tomorrow. I'd be glad to have him. He's a nice dog. If he is owner doesn't show up, I'll keep him permanently. Well, Sheriff, you're a lucky dog. He's wagging his tail. Maybe that's his name. It's as good a name as any. I'll call him that. He seems to like it. Now, let me warm up a cup of tea. Oh, no, don't bother, Father Haley. You have enough to do taking care of Shep. Anyway, I'd better get into town. You say you're going away again tomorrow? Yes, I'll be away quite a few weeks, I think. I wanted you to have Thanksgiving dinner with me, Sergeant. Oh? Uh, you think you'll be back by then? It's three weeks off. Well, that's nice of your father. I'll do my best to get back. We've been raising funds to build a new church. And I hope to have enough by then to warrant a special Thanksgiving celebration. Well, that's encouraging. This town could certainly use a church. I'll try and get back for it. Now I guess I'd better go. I have to make a few stops in town before bedtime. Well, there's Sergeant Preston. 
Hello, Sergeant. Glad to see you. Hello, boys. How are you? Oh, you're just in time, Sergeant. Huh? We're taking up a contribution for the new church that Father Haley is planning to build. Well, that's fine, Butch. I didn't know you were interested in church. Butch started it by giving a whole bag of gold dust. Gold Nugget Bar is a funny place to be doing it, but I'm all for it. Think maybe you won't pry quite so long, huh, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need another hat. This one's full. Sergeant? You better take this money out to Father Haley. Well, sure, I'll be glad to. I'll take it out if you're too busy. Oh, I'll be going past his house tomorrow. I can drop it off. Ain't you staying in town for a while, Sergeant? Have to make another patrol, Ben. Be leaving tomorrow or the next day. Well, there's the money, Preston. Well, this is heavy. A lot of money here. That's not what he'll have in a week or two. This is just to start it going. The whole town's chipping yeah, in. Sure. I left the gold at Father Haley's cabin the next day. The collection had netted about $2,000. I was quite surprised that Butch Harvey had started such a thing. Butch was a newcomer in town, and I hadn't liked him from the first time we met. I see. There was nothing I could put my finger on exactly. You Mounties must get quite good at judging men on sight. Oh, I've been wrong about a lot of men, Father. My judgment isn't always right. We all make mistakes. I decided I'd been wrong about Butch, and maybe he was doing this to prove to the town that he was all right. And, uh, was he? No, Father. I left town the next day after leaving the money with Father Haley. My trip took me far south, and I wasn't around while the church fund built up. As I learned later, Butch and his partner, Ben, were very active getting collections, and the whole town contributed. Three days before Thanksgiving, Father Haley had raised over $15,000. He was putting some gold into the box that evening when Shep scratched on the door. Father Haley put his parka on. You want to go after your walk, Shep? I've been so busy today, I didn't take you for your walk. All right, boy, go on out. I'll put on my things right away. I'm coming, boy, as soon as I put this box away. There. That ought to be all right. Good evening, Father Haley. Well, hey, Butch, uh, I'm sorry I didn't hear you knock. Hello, Ben. Hello, Father. Sit down, boys. I was just going for a walk with Shep. Wait till I put this box Don't away. Don't put I... the box away. Eh? Ooh, did you bring another contribution? <laughs> Not exactly, Father. This time you're doing the contributing. What do you mean? Get the box, Ben. Sure. But you... You don't mean you're taking the church fund. That's not all we're taking. You're coming with us. What? Here's the box. Take it out of the bed. Hey, come on, Father, before I get nervous and pull this trigger. Don't keep me waiting. Father Haley went with them out into the dark. They tied him to the sled and drove off. Nobody noticed old Shep. The dog watched the sled disappear and then limped after it. The team outdistanced him quickly, but he kept on through the night following the scent. Uh, did they intend to murder Father Haley? Well, Butch would have, but Ben wouldn't agree with it. They argued about it. You're crazy, Ben. He can find his way back, I tell you. It's getting light and he can see the trail. We're going to turn off the trail, ain't we? But he can see landmarks. He can follow our tracks back, too. What's wrong with taking his glasses away from him? He can't see without them. I tell you, I won't murder a priest. Who? Oh, how are you, Oskies? Oh. All right. We'll turn off here and head for the mountains. I'll take his glasses off and we'll lose him in the hills. Yeah, I don't see the difference. He'll die of starvation or freeze to death. I got back to town the following day. The weather had been clear, and I made a special effort to spend Thanksgiving with Father Haley. Had anyone discovered he was gone? Oh, yes. The whole town was in an uproar. Some of the people thought Father Haley had run off with the money. Pete Darcy met me just as I came into town. He was very excited. Sergeant Preston! Sergeant Preston! Okay. Oh, are you, Huskies? What's wrong, Pete? Well, I'm sure glad you got back, Sergeant. Father Haley has disappeared with all the church money. Disappeared? When? Day before yesterday. People think maybe he ran off with it. Maybe he wasn't a priest at all. That's ridiculous, Pete. He'd never go away unless someone forced him to. Were there any tracks around? Well, lots of people have been in and out to see him. He lives near the trail that's well used. Yes, I know. Sounds pretty mad about it. Everybody's given a lot of money to that fund. Come along, Pete. We'll go to his cabin now and look it over. You 
You see, Sergeant, his park is gone, his fire's out, and the money's gone. Yes. I wonder what became of Shep. Shep? The dog he had. Oh. He certainly wouldn't try to travel. The lame dog. Nobody thought about the dog. He ain't had him very long. Come on outside, Pete. Maybe we can still find Shep's tracks. Your own dog has made tracks all over. Mm. Uh, here are Shep's. You see that front foot? Yeah. He's lame. He doesn't put much weight on it, and it's crooked. Picking. <laughs> These tracks, boy. Can you find him? I'm afraid the trail is cold by this time, Sergeant. Well, it hasn't snowed for two days. These tracks lead away from town. You could probably pick them up, but the snow hasn't been trampled. I'm going to try it, Pete. You want me to come with you, Sergeant? Why, uh, no, I'll go alone. I'll take what supplies I can find in Father Haley's cabin here. Can't stop for more. Maybe a long trip. My team was tired, but we kept going. After a while, the trail of the dog was easier to follow. Shep's foot had started to bleed where the snow and ice had broken open the freshly healed cut. You mean that dog kept right on going in spite of it? He'd become very fond of Father Haley. When the tracks turned off the trail, it was easy to follow them. Shep, by then, was going on three legs. When did you find Father Haley? Well, not until the next evening. Shep had found him the night before. They were huddled together in a clump of spruce trees at the base of the mountain. Father Haley had no idea where he was. Here, Father. Put this blanket around you. I'm glad you built a fire. It isn't much of a fire. I had some matches in the pocket of my pocket. Who did all this, Father? The you did. Oh? They've gone off with the gold. They took my glasses from me, and I couldn't find enough wood. If Shep hadn't come out of frozen, we kept each other warm. I found you by following Shep's tracks. Yes, poor fellow. To drop when he found me. He dragged himself to me, his, his poor foot all bloody. Feed him first, Sergeant. I will, Father. Now you relax and don't worry about the church funds. I'll telegraph which and Ben's description to the border there, headed for Eagle City. And now I'll get some food ready. It's, it's not the Thanksgiving dinner we had planned, is it, Sergeant? No, it isn't, Father. There's plenty to be thankful for. Were the two thieves Butch and Ben caught? They were caught at the border by one of our men. Most of the money was returned. As Father Haley said, that must have been a rather slim Thanksgiving dinner you had that night. Yes, it was, Father. But it's one I'll never forget. We sat at the base of the towering mountain. The moon glistened on the snow, and it was deathly still. Father Haley sat beside the flickering fight in his lap. He hadn't eaten for two days. But when I put his food in front of him, he didn't eat at once. He bowed his head and gave thanks. It wasn't a short prayer, and as he ended it, I felt a lump in my throat. And I thank the Lord for sending ship to me. Please grant me the faith and courage that is his. And help me to follow thee with an equal love and trust. These copyrighted dramas originate in the studios of WXYZ Detroit. And all characters, names, places, and incidents used are fictitious. They are sent to you each week at this...